there's a trend in the market, in the North American market, to go electric. <coughs> yep. For obvious reason, electric is so much superior than air driven in all ways, in all kind of treatments. Yeah. Um, why uh, did we go air in North America rather than electric? It's because of marketing. This is really a marketing strategy. Uh, I'm going back in the early, early 70s. ADEC came on the market with a dental unit. All they had is, was a dental, it's an engineer who thought of an air system that was very simple, very inexpensive to manufacture, and they marketed it. It was only a dental unit, a small box. Mm -hmm. They made a partnership with Dentalese. So Dentalese would manufacture chairs and ADEC would manufacture units. Mm -hmm. And the two companies together made, took some, a good chunk of the market because it was inexpensive. At the same time, hygienists came on the market. Dentists start, started to have multiple chairs. Before that, it was one or two chairs per dentist. Then they started to have five, 10, eight, 12 chairs in yeah. one office. So it was more economical to set up all of those chairs. At the same time in Europe, dentists were operating in one or two rooms. There was no hygienist then. Mm -hmm. So they were buying dental equipment that was much more expensive, but was doing everything. Hmm. About 18 years ago, someone invented a small device that is about the size of the finger, my fingertip here. And that little component is converting air to electricity. Yep. So it's kind of an air switch, if you want to, an air rheostat. With that little device coupled with electronics, we were able to make an air activated foot control operating an electric motor. From there, we started to see more and more electric motors on the North American market. That's really the story behind electric. There's no doubt that electric is superior in terms of speed, in terms of concentricity, in terms of power, in terms of controlling Tor torque. Air, torque everything. Yeah. Uh, now we are in the era of night type files and reverse and uh, with those instruments coupled with electric motors, it's it's a fantastic product to use. We have a system here as example, what, what we got here is two electric motors on one dental chair. The idea of going with two electric motors is to facilitate procedure less changing of burrs and contrangles and everything to do a, a whole prep or a whole procedure. Mm -hmm. So you can, as example, set this one up with high speed up to 200,000 RPM. This is really cutting through metals. If you want to remove an old amalgam, you need to splice a crown or bridge or anything. This is a best tool to use. You want to do a crown prep, again, gross reduction is done with electric motor, it's fantastic. You could set up the second one for endo, for, no. for not for endo, well, for endo or More. slow speed in general. Yep. Both motors can run high and slow speed, but to facilitate and make it, you know, pick up the AMPs and drill, pick up and drill, it's easier to set up one slow, one high speed. What we have here is a iPod, a standard Apple iPod that we download. We downloaded the uh, BNR application that we call iOptima, and that is to use our electric system. Oop. Boop. Oh yeah, it's right there. Yeah. So you see exactly. So you see there the you see the application there. Uh, it it downloads. You accept the terms very with the uh, iOS ISO uh, version. Yes, okay. You're ready to go. With this version here, we got regular um, restorative dentistry. Dentistry. Yep. R O E N for endo and the new Wave One Gold application. We have all three already preset in the system. Should you choose restorative dentistry, as example here, it's set up for high speed, 200,000 RPM. You can adjust the light intensity, you can change the contrangle that you're using. As example here, we got a one to five. I could change that to, let's say, a one to one. By doing so, you'll notice that it changed to a blue dot showing gear ratio one to one. Now I went down to 40,000 RPM because it was not a one to five increasing speed. 
Again, if I go back to one to two or one to five in this case, accept that. Now go to this, go back, whoops, sorry, one to five. Now I can go up to 200,000 RPM. Mm -hmm. All done automatically. Forward reverse, we can use the foot control in two ways. It could be a simple on off. You can see right here, it says on off. Yep. And the other one is progressive, which is a real stat, increasing the speed. The more you press on the pedal, the faster it'll go. So it's really like a gas pedal if you want. The other one is on off. In endodontics, by default, it'll set to on off. Yeah. Because you don't want to vary the speed when you're doing endo. So by default, it'll go. But if for whatever reason you'd like to control the speed when doing endo, just have to go to this setup here and change from uh, on off to pro progressive uh, foot control. As simple as that. And then you can save all of your uh, presets. Uh, we can change as a, uh, from here, we can vary the speed, we can vary the torque, and we can change the, the contra angle gear ratio.